refresh will get you right up. The quick little refresh will get you right up. The quick little refresh will get you right up. The quick little refresh will get you right up. Send out a refresh. Okay, let's um, let's get into some good stuff here. Let's put on a video or something here. How about this light little fighter in the kid? LOL. I would love to hear it. It's a next Send it up. up. Send it up. Fighter in the kid. Brendan Schaub. Brian Cranston, of course. Oh, Jay Moore. Yeah, we saw this on. Uh, this is a good one. Yeah, this is all over YouTube right now. This is Fighter and the Kid with Jay Moore. Jules did not know who Jay Moore was. You hear that, Moore? I mean, I recognize the name. No, but she goes, who is this guy? <laughs> who is that? I go, Jay Moore from, and then I couldn't list anything. I go, he was a comedian in the 80s. But isn't that funny? What is Jay Moore doing to make a living right now? Do you guys remember Jay Moore? Didn't I get in an incident with Jay Moore a long time ago? Here he is on The Fighter and the Kid. They're not doing well. How many views we got here? 53K? Is that what I'm seeing? Really? Wait. 44K views six days ago. 44K. That's how bad it's getting. Fighter and the Kid, 44K views. Those are Leo Dominique numbers. All right, let's see. The Fighter and the Kid, Jay Moore. The Too Lazy to Try video about this probably got more views. Seriously, Too Lazy to Try is huge. He's getting 157K. Fighter and the Kid. Cheers, everybody. Red Bar. This is really the Fighter and the Kid. Come on, baby. Got the great team. That's weak. Oh, yeah. You got a great voice. Come on. How do you hit the high notes, bro? I don't know. That's him, Jay Moore. The fighter and the kid. Yeah. Ooh, 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 not today, Moore. I recognize the young him. I just didn't recognize The young him, yeah, he looks pretty he looks bad. Now. How about that? He looks nasty. He used to date this woman with the biggest hooters. This redheaded woman from Saved by the Bell. She, well, she played a blind woman on Saved by the Bell. One of Zach's dates. Uh, which one should I do, Jules? I'm going to get you some kush here. Tangerine kush? I think or sneakers. The orange one is sativa, and the sneakers is a hybrid. Hybrid. We'll do that. Uh, I'm going to bust out a sneaker here. You guys want to do some sneakers with me? Fuck These yes. are little pre rolls. We love a pre roll. We love that they use a lesser quality weed and charge you more. A lot of people are real uh, money hungry pigs out there. <laughs> Look, Mike, you could get so much more weed if you just buy it and roll your own. Yeah. Okay. I should roll my own cigarettes then too, huh? Make my own vapes cartridges. I'll start a whole company where I do all this stuff myself. Uh, I like things done for me, okay? I'm 65 years old. I'm a senior, and uh, I can't be doing this myself. Imagine trying to roll this myself. Are you out of your mind? You know how I make joints? I still do it where I have, like, uh joint paper with a filter in there and then i put the weed in and i use a pencil to push it down that's how i roll the joint <laughs> hey man i'm rolling a joint and you see me stuffing it and then taking a pencil and pushing it that's me rolling a joint. It takes me about three hours to get a loose bumpy unsmokable joint that's what they want me doing that's unreal no i understand what they're saying what the fuck is that it's oh Thought I was losing my mind. Welcome to Red Bar. Have a puff. She's making it up by hitting the cues for me before I have to ask because of the <laughs> recording thing. I was so surprised. I can't believe a song came on. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Have a couple puff of roots. This is the shit, man. How boring was that 4th of July, huh? Did anybody else look up at the fireworks on the 4th and go, we need new fireworks? For the first time in my life, I've been like a firework. Yeah, I used to be a firework year. fiend. Yeah. And this year we saw the fireworks and we're like, this kind of sucks now. Fireworks are kind of <laughs> faggoty. Maybe we weren't close enough or something. I don't know. 
We didn't shoot off any of our own this year. Maybe yeah. that's the only good part. I've got no interest in fireworks anymore. These fruity little... I like the sound of a loud bomb. I'll tell you that I like when you're... Instead of fireworks, maybe stick a stick of dynamite in some girl's glove box. Blow up her car! Blow up the front end of her car! What am I stuck on here? Yeah, I found the fireworks to be quite boring. How about you guys? Maybe you live in Nantucket where the fireworks are still good. Imagine laying on that raft, looking up, seeing a couple fireworks. I find 4th of July to be kind of cringe now. You know, with all this Twitter discourse, it just doesn't seem right anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really care about the 4th of July anymore. I'm actually uh, pretty much uh, I I excluding myself from almost every major holiday now. What am I supposed to be doing? Like, I'm celebrating along with Biden and the black lady who's the vice president. What am I doing on the holiday here? Hanging out with the troops? It's because every day with you is like a holiday, babe. I think that what it could be, you know, every day is so good that a holiday is actually... Because a hindrance for us. having fun too. Yeah, it's it's almost yeah. Holidays are my worst days. That could be in a rap song like me and Jay Z. Both me and Jay Z have this same kind of idea where like a holiday is kind of like a distraction, or it, it's like a it takes away from how good our life is going because then everybody takes off work. We can't get our stuff done. So yeah, I'm kind of uh, against holidays. I always have been, but now so more than ever, I really, I can't think of a holiday in which they deserve me to join in on anymore. I mean, they're either for God, they're for the troops, or for their, they're for the damn president. Fourth of July is basically, hey, we're all celebrating Biden. I don't care who's in that office. I'm not celebrating those people. So Fourth of July to me is, hey, everybody. Think about Biden. Think about him smiling. Think about, and Biden's favorite colors, what are they? Red, white, blue. <laughs> Those are president's colors. Red, white, blue. It's cringe. Uh, I'm over it. Yes, there's all the, uh, the novelty of remembering when you were a kid. You got to get over it. You're 40. Once you're 40, you got to stop doing what you did every day when you were a kid. When I was a kid, every day was the 4th of July. Do you, do, it, do you run through the sprinkler still? Do you miss that? You got to get over it. You're never going to be a kid again. Okay? It's not going to make you feel any better to eat all that, those heavy <laughs> baked goods in the heat like that. 4th of July. Maybe you just weren't in the mood this year and we kind of forgot about it. We I don't know. I think anything, people got to start so. developing new things that they do. But yes, every day for me is such a holiday. We should make our own holiday. That uh, the real holidays are almost like, oh, it's a holiday today. Great. <laughs> so now the restaurants are closed. You know, the grocery store is going to be a madhouse if everybody's scrambling. You know. And we cook like it's the 4th of July every day anyway, right? Hot dogs. Hot dogs, hamburgers, corn, corn on the cob, dogs. steaks every day. I'm <laughs> out there 4th of July every fucking day. All right, here they are. Brian Callen, of course. Big enemy of mine. Now, I hate him more than I hate Brendan. If I had an or, you guys ever played or? That's where you got to spend one Airbnb weekend. It's just you. In one of them, in a house, full weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you see, you say goodbye on Sunday, of course. And you got to stay in some horrible city. You know, you're at this Airbnb. Who do you choose? Brian Callen or Brendan Schaub? That's actually an easy or. Obviously Schaub. Obviously Schaub. Now, you would only pair them together because they do this show together. Too so easy. normally an or, you wouldn't even pair them together because it's not even fair. So, yeah, I hope everybody would rather spend the weekend with Brendan than Brian if your answer was Brian. So are you one of these people at home going, oh, I'd pick Brian for sure? You got to figure out what's going on with you. You got to look deep into you now.
Because that's a problem. You shouldn't want to spend a second with this guy. I mean, guy. you go there with Brendan. You have amazing stories, like 50 million funny moments you get to tell everybody. He'd be laughing at all your jokes. He'd be super nice to you. You could catch him doing something. You know what I mean? But so, it's light. doesn't it's like light. bother you or make you sick. just makes you smile. But Brian, you would feel like... Okay, I'm like betraying a rape victim now. You know, I'm like really getting sick here, dude. I'm like really going crazy. You know, that's dirty. They're saying once you picked Big Mike over Callan in an oar. Wow. So I really must not like this Callan. Now, let's say you don't really mind Callan. Think about it this way then. It's re he really bothers Mike. So, man, Callan really bothers Mike. There must be something going on with this guy that's really, really bad if it's really bothering Mike. I mean, Mike's picking Big Mike over him. He's picking Brendan. You know, he can't even concentrate on Brendan Schaub during these shows because he just sees Cal. He gets so sickened. He tells you a whole speech about him, about how bad he is. Now, do I have any proof that Brian's done anything wrong ever? No. Have I ever caught him? Doing anything wrong or even bad? Nope. Just kidding. You wish. His negative aura is so strong. Yeah, his Can negative aura know? is so strong <laughs> Wasn't there and disgusting. Like, to me, him sitting there laughing like this is a crime. <laughs> it's on, like, so if people go, what did Brian Callen do? I go, ah. I mean, he's jacking off right now, right? In it front doesn't of matter. You. Even if this wasn't sexual, I mean, look at this guy. Seriously, how could you stand him? And if you can, are you too close to the kind of man that Callan is? Much to think about. It's a lot to think about. You got to consider it at least. Don't blow this off, guys. I, I'm, I'm begging you. We need you to really, really feel. Now, can that be used in court? <laughs> Can that stuff be used in court? Where you go, Your Honor, he's begging his fans to hate us. <laughs> we have done nothing wrong. He needs to beg them to hate us. <laughs> Your Honor, I need the support. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Really good All right, <laughs> there, the fighter and the kid. Let's let them talk. <laughs> oh, no, are you okay? No. That gets me fired up. Why can't that be our intro music? Let's go! Wait till you see what happens. This is right at the beginning of the episode. You got Brian, Brendan, and Jay Moore, who I don't think they've talked to in some time. But Jay's been watching. Jay knows. Here he is. This is his face, by the way, in case you're not comfortable with this guy. This is him, and he's acting, you know, he doesn't do podcasts every day like them. He's coming on with a different energy, a different spirit than they're used to on a podcast, right? I noticed that right away. Let's see what happens to these losers. Brian the Kid. It's fun. <laughs> copying uh, Iron Maiden, I guess, yeah, in my I'm bedroom copying. as a kid. Bro, that's what we're, I want to use that as our intro. For just, just that. No, Brian no, the kid, bad. Not no funny. Brian the Kid. A lot of shows do this thing with us. We need to put that on the soundboard. That should be the thumbnail. We need to do that. That should be merch. It shouldn't be. Every five minutes, this is every host. That should be merch. That should be this. That should be. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know the world be great if uh, that would be. That could be, huh? Wow. Keep dreaming. And please, enough with it. Yeah, how many more times do we got to hear? Dude, that needs to be on a t-shirt. And it's never anything good. It was just something that you thought was mildly, mildly, so mildly clever at the moment. You get all excited. You got to interrupt everything to say, that should be the new intro. Why? Because it sucks so bad? <laughs> Is that why it should be the new intro? Are you just saying stock shit? That really bothers me more than anything when these hosts abuse the great, wonderful privilege of host that I take so, 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 so dearly and kindly and respectfully to. My bedroom as a kid. Bro, that's what we're, I want to use that as our intro for just, just that. See how much of an idiot you look like now? So keep that in mind when you watch podcasts, you see these hosts slip into this mindless crap where they say, oh, that should be the... Remember me.
and then look at the cloud, and then you see this fucking, <laughs> look at this faggot. You know? <laughs> you got two families. Watch this. In my bedroom as a kid. Bro, that's what we I want to use that as our intro. For just just that. Okay. The fighter and the kid. The fighter and the kid. Yeah. It's really uh oh. 80s. Yeah. Oh, it's good, man. He's bringing it yeah. back. It's yeah. wrestling room rat first yeah. rat album. Oh, yeah. yeah. Out on the streets. That's where we meet. Did you ever see the Iron Maiden that the um court uh the sort of like Coming. I just want to show and you how soon this is right at the beginning of the show what this guy Moore, Jay Moore does to these guys. Pretty brutal. They asked the lead singer because this guy this, he, they were being sued because this kid committed suicide listening to the song. Woo! And he, they asked him, I have so f- weird. Well, I don't happened? know, but they asked him to sing the song. The rhyme like, of the ancient mariner. <laughs> <laughs> he actually sang it. Acapella's like, Anybody homeless? Okay. I don't want to baby. And the guy, the, the and Laura goes, what is the thing you do at the end? <laughs> and he's like, what? And he goes, the thing you're like, meh, like that. And he goes, that sounds just how I breathe That's before thing, I do man. the next Why person. Is Brendan looking so, so shy awkward. Shy right right now. Now. Brendan really is sitting shy. That's right. I mean, that's a classic. Look at that. Yeah, he's sitting shy. <laughs> Why is he so shy? His beard is getting oh Jafar. Oh, my God, that is really Jafar. <laughs> Was it always like that? Or Look is that at that thing? point. <laughs> he looks like the uh, McDonald's moon, you know? Look at that. Can someone draw him as a moon? Just take off look his at hat that. and then Photoshop the bottom part of his head and add it to this, the Look at this. Imagine his kid going down that slide. Whoop! You'd be to the moon. He looks sculpted. He's That's really good. cool. That's sharp. I think that adds to his face. I actually like that better than the rounded bottom. I do like this better than the round. So just to show you, I'm going to outline it here. Whoa. It's a coast. Woo. Has That's anyone else? South America there. Has anyone else seen those videos on Twitter that are always going viral where it's like some like Egyptian guy or something with a huge nose and then it's like a plastic sh- surgery video and then they show him with his big nose and then he ends up with like a little cute button nose. Have you seen that? No, I've never seen Every anything like that in my Twitter, life. Twitter, there's like a hundred videos like that. Okay. And then everyone's like, oh, this guy ruined his face. Yeah. Anyways, I just wish I could see what Brendan looks like. like with that. a little button nose? Because it's really shocking. Okay, somebody get on that. <laughs> there's him holding his hacky. Can you imagine there's a hacky sack right there? That he's holding. It's a denim hacky sack. <laughs> oh my God, I got a great idea for Brian since he likes selling handmade clothing. So holds. I will purchase handmade hacky sacks made out of the crotch of Brian Callen's real jeans. I'll pay him $1,200 just for this part. Just for the fa- How about this, Brian? Cut a circle out of the crotch of your jeans and send it to me. I'll give you $1,200 a circle. I'll make my own hacky sack out of the crotches of his pants. That is a real offer. Get that offer to Khaled, okay? Out there. (laughs) Just ask you to make it easy just to buy his jeans. Will you sell? I'll send $2,000 for uh, three pairs of your jeans. See if he'll do that. If you guys could get me even one pair of Brian (laughs) Callen's jeans. That, okay, how about that? The first person, if anyone can get me a pair of Brian Callen's real jeans, with proof, <laughs> that will be a $1,000 prize on top of the 2000 that you could pay him for those jeans. And then we will make as many hacky sacks as we can out of the one pair of jeans. And imagine selling those on the store. Brian Callen, authentic crotch hacky sacks. Because I need a new idea because I think the lawyers are going to put a stop to the uh, openers, the yonder magnets. What? Yep, the lawyers. uh, You didn't tell me about that. Well, I'm still going to do it, but the lawyers, it's not looking good. So maybe I do need a new. It wasn't supposed to be that big of a thing. Just a joke. The lawyers haven't stopped us, Jules. I was just kidding. Oh. It's just supposed to be a little. 
thing about that. And then, but yes, I do really want to make the pants. Okay, let's show you. Does this start happening like right now? It starts at three minutes. Oh, so really? It was few. three minutes in. Okay, yeah, That's we got to fast forward soon. to them. Three minutes in. Did you give it some time to breathe? You could go to like 240 if you want. Okay, here they are. So three minutes into their show with Jay Moore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gang, it's good to see Brandon again. <laughs> Brandon. Yeah, <we'll> Brandon. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, so, I had so much fun last time, and you guys, uh, George and Chin, do a good job of, uh, like, editing the clips and everything. Oh, yeah. It made it really Georgie, easy for me to... Georgie does all the clips. Georgie does it all? Why do Nobody's... they have a little kid? They have a little kid filling in for Halamar Carly, who quit. It's li that's all they could get to work for them, a little kid for credit. <laughs> School credit. That's too young to be working there. Are they crazy? Why do they have a little kid there? There's just no place for a child to be. This is the new guy who works on their show. This is who's switching cameras right now. I... This little kid. I mean, he might. He is no more than twelve. That can't be someone working for them, right? It's got to it be like Look, someone's kid. No, nope. there. I hope. Nope. <laughs> and he must be older than we think because he's either got hairy knuckles or tattoos all over his hands. What? Well, what do you oh call my those? God. What am I seeing so he right can't now? be that young, but he's got the face of 10, 11, 12, maybe 13. Uh, and he seems to be, he's got a pen in his hand. He's taking notes. Seems to be a big part of the show now. This is insane. Yeah. And they would be furious if that kid was at a drag show yeah. and here they are being spread. So here, Jay Moore is going to say that. Um, he was watching some clips that the guys made of him that they posted online and how great. Oh, they're so good. Every celebrity thinks like the worst poorly shot, poorly edited clips are amazing. Have you noticed this? Every fucking celebrity seems to think like. I mean, we're all aware that the level of production across almost every one of these shows is starting startlingly bad, right? Like the worst you've ever seen. So when they come in, oh, your team is so great. Your team, oh, young Jamie is so amazing. Oh, your video, your guys are the best. Oh, they're our guys? Yeah, they're the best. They're actually the worst. So it really shocks me when some guy who's been on uh, TV, he's worked in TV for 35 years, he's been in movies. Surely the level of production you're seeing now should startle you. You should be going, guys, this is really low budge. Surely you could see that, right? Apparently not. He thinks the fighter and the kid clips that he saw looked great. Oh, the edit was so good. It was very choppy. <laughs> the choppiest you could do, the worst job you could do is what it was. Like editing the clips and everything oh, yeah. it made it really Georgie, easy I mean, for me to... Oh, yeah, Georgie. Georgie does all the clips. Georgie yeah. does it all. And uh, But then I'm like, you know, I post it, co-post it, we collaborate. Then I'm reading the comments. I was like, do your fans like you? Oh, us? <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> he was reading the comments, and he's like, do these fans even like them? And look at Brian. Who? Oh, us? Yeah. Uh, I can explain. Listen to how Brian watches. I was like, do your fans like you? Oh, us? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Take that home to your 85 kids. Take that home to your 85 wives. Do your fans even like you? <laughs> Who, us? Yeah. Yeah, what? They hate you? <laughs> He's reading comments. They're horrendous. Every comment he sees about you two is bad. So, how, they, how do they not have, like, a prepared kind of answer for that already? I know. That's what's so because weird about it, too. Like, every they've Brandon... been going through this for five years. How do they not have something? They're always so caught off guard. When like so... I've never seen before, every Brendan clip online gets, like, decimated. Like, the comment section yeah. is all just... It really is nice. Stuff. And thank you to everybody who's turned into what we wanted. I mean, really, this is why we screamed so loud on Red Bar, because we watched the rest of the world just accept this stuff. Uh, and these guys really get away with it. And we're coming to a point, I'm really proud that we're all at a point here where the consequences are real. You know, these guys are now finally getting what they've always deserved, and it's so nice to see. So thank you. Thanks to all the 
little communities who just harass these people. But as stupid as they are, you'd think that they would at least come up with some harebrained. So exactly. How do they not have something? Seats every yeah, time some stock thing out. to say, oh, yes, you know, we can explain. They never have anything prepared. Here, let's see how this went down. Here they are. Brian. But then I'm like, you know, I'd post it, co-post it, we collaborate. Then I'm reading the comments. I was like, do your fans like you? Oh, us? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's I like they, it's. I was like, oh, I remember this world. Yeah. Well, those aren't fans. The, you know, those oh, are they're listening and posting. Well, exactly. They're, they're listeners. You specifically. I'm like, There's, all Brandon does is fucking try exactly to. Exactly. They're listening. Well, they're listening. They're posting. Exactly. They're listening. Is that one of those sayings that you heard? Hey, man, as long as they're paying. He said they're not fans, they're listeners, which is what you always say. Yeah, that is what I call the audience. I like to call them listeners. You and, you and Brendan have a lot in common. We do. Listen in and post. Well, exactly. They're, they're listeners. You specifically. I'm like, There's, all Brandon does is fucking try to help others and mind yeah. his own business. But they don't know that. Yeah, they just they, they just they well, they, they do though. They just, All Brendan does is mind his own business and try to help others. <laughs> that can't be. He did save those kids from that car crash. Why would anyone not like him? All he does is mind his own business and help others. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll tell you something. If if I caught somebody doing that shit, I'd hate them. Helping others? I have proof. I showed you. I hate charity. <laughs> So, yes, if I caught somebody helping others, I'd just tape them, okay? Is that enough of a reason? And then they're going to play dumb as to why that nobody likes them? It's because, yeah, it's because... Well, wait till they're listening. You specifically, I'm like, There's... all Brandon does is fucking try to help others and mind yeah. his own business. But they don't know that. Well, yeah, they just... They, they just they, well, they, they, they do, though. They, they just they think do. he's cocky, football player, and... That's, that's how they... I don't think that's it. I think... Football player, huh? <laughs> they, they just hate him because he's a cocky football player? Who's a football player? Like, Brandon was once a football player, like... Yeah, guess what? 2001. Hey, <laughs> I'm Mike from Red Bar Radio, <laughs> and I've never heard anything about Brandon <laughs> being a football player in my life. <laughs> and I'm Mike from Red Bar. So... It can't be why everybody hates him. I've never even heard that he's played football. I think that they kind of, what I was saying before, maybe that's not true. Maybe the response that they kind of cooked up was like, Brendan is, because I've kind of heard him say something like this before. Like, Brendan is such a big, tough guy. Yeah. He's like a classic a alpha jock. bro jock. So nerds naturally hate him. Yeah. But nervous Cal, and that came out as, they hate football, football play player. Instead of jock. <laughs> okay. But does Brendan play football? Oh I yeah, was he just, was. I was he the starting nine like on the forty drivers. Yeah, something. You like know that. all that football I crap. I tune that right out. You so. guys got to get over football too. It's time. It is time. I'm sorry. The NFL. When I think of the NFL, I think of the wide, uh, white man, sixty-five years old with a head this wide. When I close my eyes, I think NFL. I think of a white man's head. He's 68 years old and his head is this wide, his fingers thicker than three of mine. That's what you like? What about the CFL? Ooh, is that Ice Cubes League? Kinda. I want to disrupt and destroy Ice Cubes Basketball League. <laughs> I'm getting under the we're taking the people off the street to bounce the ball. Get them off my courts. I want those courts turned into upscale markets <laughs> in prime vending. Please. I uh, I fucking hate b-ball now, man. I got so burned. We're about to become Suns fans. I can't. No. Nope. Okay, let's see what happens here. So yeah, your fans. Hey, you were taking a lot of time with this. We don't mean to. They don't know that. Yeah, yeah they just they, they just they, well, they, they, they do though. They just they think do. he's cocky football player and football player. That's, that's how they. I don't think that's it. I think football player, huh? <laughs> well, yeah. what, you mean Probably you mean when I stopped playing twenty years ago end, back in the day? Yeah. You know? I do think that if people saw Wait, the shit, so you, you made the up scenes, that they hate you because you're a football player, and then you're making an excuse for that. Like he was like, I stopped playing. So games. you lied in real time. They called you out, and now you got to do another. And one. then he's going. 
And that was like 20 years ago, guys. Stop hating me for football. But it's like, that's not why we hate you. That's what you just made Oh, wait, up. you think Brendan's doing that? I mean, here, Let me let's see. watch this let's again. I don't think very important. it. I think football player, huh? <laughs> well, yeah. what, you mean, Probably you mean when I stopped it. playing 20 Defensive years ago? Just said, I don't think that's it. Okay, okay. So, I just but what's Callan's excuse? Part. So, Callan, you tried to lie. So that was you and a lie. You just lied. They both said, ha, 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 ha. They both laughed it off. So you've committed lie. So don't say you never lie. Well, let's hear his excuse now. The day, yeah. you know? I do think that if people saw the shit you do behind the scenes, they'd be like, oh. I don't think it would matter. No, no. No, they wouldn't care. No, they'll do those people who can't win. Some people uh, just what do you care? Some the fools like love that one. The fools love that one. Big Mike tried that one for years. I've had every fool has tried that one on me. If they knew me in real life, they would never do that. Okay. Well, I don't know you in real life. <laughs> this is how I know you. So, you know, I'm not going to even argue that with the fools. No, no, no. I just can't believe they even still use that attempt. That's quite the attempt, huh? What an attempt. It doesn't matter. No, 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 they wouldn't care. No, they'll do those people who can't win. Some people just no hate do you. Care. Some people hate you for no you know what? <laughs> you know what Reggie Jackson said? Fans don't boo nobodies. No, oh, there you go. oh, shit. That's what it is. Reggie. He also said when uh, he hit his third home run in the World Series, a reporter goes, what were you thinking as you rounded the bases? He goes, I was thinking about it. Speaking of boos, you guys got to step it up. That fighter in the kid Reddit needs to take to the damn streets. I, you guys could go. You could set up meetups in that fighter and the kid Reddit, which is, that's your heaven. Imagine meeting up with everyone and you eventually get a huge group of friends now. That's the real heaven of these communities. So think about this. You guys start arranging. And this could be any anti-comic community out there now. I see they are growing big groups, big numbers of people. It's got to be enough of you out there that want to meet up at a show, at a comedy club. Got to be enough. Uh, you're out there. You got one guy hiding the camera. You got another guy with the camera over there. You've, you've snuck him in somehow. And then you all start doing some big stuff. Start booing. I mean, think about how great these videos would be of comedians. I was just thinking there's not enough videos of comedians getting, like, interrupted and heckled and brutalized on stage. This is not illegal to do. There seems to be enough people who hate these people. You don't want to ask. I don't want to go out and personally ask people to do this. And we never do. We don't assign people. But we do really respect the people who do do that. And cause the scene, if I was a young man, I would love to go out there, you know, 18, 20 years old, 21 years old, let's hope. And you get out there, you get all drunk, just start screaming. It doesn't matter what you scream. They can't compete against that. They're expecting easy, breezy, simple day at the office. You start showing up to those shows, start causing a madhouse every time. Their safe space ain't going to be the stage no more. Then where will they go? We want to take that it's safe... It's only going to help them improve their craft. We want to improve... And comedy needs an improvement. Trust me, I've watched every special that's come out in the last hundred years. They're terrible. Even the ones from 100 years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago. Every special that's ever come out is not good enough. Take it from me. Take it from fucking me. Thank you. All right, were we done with this clip here with Brendan and Brian, or was there yeah, anything else? Yeah, you want to see a pic of what Brian's going to look like when you take his jeans off? It's a nice I didn't top. even consider that they would be coming right off his body. Yes, Brian Callen. Okay, let's see. What is Brian Callen going to look like? Oh, yes, this came out. So, yeah, let's take Brian's. Would you guys like to undress Callen with me? This is a little segment called, if you're going to post it, we're zooming in. I do this with Hila Klein. I do this to all my guys. If you're so brave, you're so body positive. Well, let's see. Here it is, everybody. Brian, and thanks to uh, Rick Sazazama for posting this. Brian Callen let his uh, fiance post this. Look at that. Look at this tiny. Jules, I think your dad has a better body than this. Yes, hell yes. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Uh, you know, this really, I couldn't believe Brian Callen is walking around yelling at people and being such a big shot, and his body is like this. 
yet he brings up this man. I'm the man. We should play that real quick oh, yeah, with sure. uh, Glassman. Yeah. Glassman finally had the guts to confront Callan on why he is such a man. Brian, always talking about being such a tough guy and man, but all I see is a shriveled up old man's body. I couldn't believe how much worse this is than my body. Of course, my body, I've got the body of a Greek gad. A Greek gad, G-A-A-D. Google him. Gad sad, of course. He's got the body of a Greek gad. Um, so if you Google Gad Sad, I think he's on a weight loss journey currently right now. He's looking great. So I can safely say I have the body of a Greek Gad. Okay. Uh, here is Callan's body. Completely disgusting. His little shorts are a little loose on him. You can see his stash down there. This is stash as far as I'm concerned. What you hiding? Well, I mean, what is it? Are you wearing underwear underneath your trunks? He's got it's his legs crossed like that. What am I looking at here? Oh, no, that's okay. Of course, his knee. His little legs are spread. He's got no dick. He's got no fucking balls. He must stuff. Uh, usually, he forgot to stuff here at the beach. And to post this little faggoty pic, I mean, when I looked at this, Brian, I go, you're a complete faggot. You're a homo. Your worst nightmare is true. I stood up. I pointed and laughed at this for 15 hours. <laughs> I can't tell you how embarrassed you need to be. I can't tell you how embarrassed you need to be over this. I was zooming in like this. I was going, Jules, look how pathetic this is. It's like Aaron M. Emholt for God's sake. It's very papery. Look at your shitty nipple. <laughs> you think this looks good? It looks like a dad's breast. Is this a dad's brassiere? That's this what little hair? When you have two families. You wearing a dad's brassiere? You have two families with this shitty fucking nipple? This no nothing nipple? How about I flick that off? How about I start kissing this? You fucking homo faggot. <laughs> He's eating a little watermelon slice. You're having watermelon? Where'd you get these glasses? The toehold store? Oh, he didn't even post this. His girl posted it. Yeah. The rules. <laughs> Danny PH. Because you got to check the PH so of her fucking are... pussy every time you fuck her or else you'll get AIDS. Oh, my God. Just, uh, that's, that's not me. <laughs> I was just going with the character of bullying. I got a little carried away. Uh... Your glasses are fucking cringe, okay? I'd like to snap them. When you get up to go frolic in the water with your pathetic body, I'm going to snap your glasses and hide them in the sand. Look at you. Look at your little lips. Oh, you are nothing to me. You are a trans man. You're no worse than the worst game. It's awesome that these guys just have to go on their vacations with their wives who are so clueless to what you can I know. Can't if you posted post. something like this, I'd never speak to you again. If you posted an angle of me like this. I remember I have one memory. Don't right tell them about I, your memories. Right when I moved to Chicago, I took like a picture of Mike where he looked so cute and he was doing a little dance yes, in front of a TV or something. Yeah, it was like part yeah. of a group of photos I was going to post. Of course. And it, he looked so cute, and I got so yelled at for posting one. <laughs> you posted this? Yes, don't you remember? Oh, <laughs> I can't even believe there was a life bef uh, when you were allowed to do something like that. I guess I wasn't. And what happened? You got in trouble, didn't you? Yep. Well. And it was the cutest pick. But these guys have no standard. You met no, Jonah yeah. Hill. What's that? You Jonah Hill, but about your own picks. I act like Jonah Hill, but about my own picks. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Me and Jonah Hill come from the same tribe. I got the same fucking body as Hill. I'm loving this Jonah Hill discourse. Yeah. By the way. He must be going crazy. Let's do one more, Cal, and this is from Rick Glassman. Shout outs to our Ricky Glassman, our little Ricky. Papa Kiva, it's Ricky time. Now, we're not focusing on well Ricky today. Uh, but Ricky had on Kellen. Listen, I don't know what that makes Ricky. Of course, Rick Glassman. Uh, if you're not up to speed, we we call him Tricky Ricky. Uh, his Kiva connection is a dangerous one. Watch out <laughs> for the master manipulator Ricky. Tricky Ricky. Uh, you know, I can't say enough bad things about the guy. I hope people aren't fooled by him. 
you know, please don't be fooled by him. It's uh, disturbing to me, though, that a guy like Ricky ha can hang around a guy like Callan. Here's Callan on the set. Here's well, Ricky. Rick is treating him like trash at the beginning, which I know is a big bit that yeah. he does. But I do feel like he does it to more to people that he actually yes. doesn't respect. <laughs> I don't think Ricky likes Callan at all. I mean, he doesn't do this to every guest. No, I think he thinks of him as a, as a fool. You'll see some of this stuff. Yeah, just play the beginning for a sec. Okay, the whole beginning? I mean, you don't have to go. Just when they are there, not all this flashbacks okay. and shit. Oh. But you can. It's only... Well, this might be a nice cold open to the episode. It could be a good cold open to the episode. I I would say that uh, there are things I know about Caitlyn Jenner that you are going to be very surprised at. Question. Yeah. It doesn't involve anything other than how brave she is. does not involve anything other than how brave she is. So everything you have to say okay. is really just about how brave Wait. Caitlyn Jenner is. Yes. Oh, wow, that's a masterpiece. I can't believe they did that edit. I remember that from later on in the show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what did you want to show I mean, here, though? you don't have to. I was yeah, just... no, I didn't want to show any of that. Okay, whatever. But so I... you'll get the idea from what he asks. Uh, Brian here. I mean, this is great. This is what I've been begging somebody to ask Brian for years. I've been asking Brian this question for years. And we're going to get a little answer here from Insecurito. But yes, I don't think Rick actually likes him. I do find it disgusting, though, that for as far as Brian's concerned, though, Rick likes him a lot and they're friends, right? So as far as Brian's concerned, they're friends. That to me is too far. You should openly hate him. So it's not enough that Rick secretly hates them. He's got to openly hate them. You can't be palling around with them and being their friend and then just doing a little thing for guys like us. And then, you know, you got to hate them fully. You can't hang out with them. You can't do podcasts with them if you want to be cool. So he hangs out with Chris D'Elia, too. So it makes me think, is Ricky one of these late night boys? Is he one of these hotel boys along with, you know, uh, Dalia and Callan here? Is he one of these types of guys? He might be. Uh, from what I've experienced, I don't want to, I know he's a very litigious man. From what I've experienced, I think Ricky is a little uh, ugly with the ladies as well. He's okay with it. That's, let's just say that. I think he's okay with <laughs> Dalia. Yeah, you're okay with Dalia and Callan. These people who could put that aside, it, it, it's crazy. It's like all these people who, I saw Kane Vatos this morning, Jules, and I spoke to Kane. I raised my voice at him, just so you know. <laughs> Kane Vatos from Kane and Pia. He's one of the nicest guys on the planet, and a guy that I truly— He's the nice Tate. I always thought that—well, no, don't say that. It's not, <laughs> nothing like Tate. That's an inside they joke. Look the same. He's the nicest guy. You would think that his sense of, uh, you know, what's right and wrong is, is, is dialed in. You'd think he's a guy you could trust. And I saw him on Logan Paul's engagement post this morning going, yes, go Logan. And it's like, so Kane, you're, uh, and it's like, you, all these people make a choice. You all know that, yes, Dalia is the, the rapist, Callan's the rapist, Logan's the scammer, right? These are the things that have been alleged. And you just decide that's, a lie or it's true but you don't give a fuck and you publicly just don't give a fuck like a guy like Kane Vatos that's what blows my mind he's the sweetest nicest guy you would think he wouldn't want at the very least you wouldn't want anyone seeing that you're friends with Logan Paul so you're hearing about all these scams and you're just like yeah fuck those victims Logan's cool same thing with this it's like well, so all of Chris's allegations you hear all that and you just go Eh, fuck it. I'd rather hang out with Chris. It's like you could pet. There's a million other guys to hang out with. I feel like if the guys who, uh, you know, are alleged rapists and alleged schemer, and that's all you hear about them every day, maybe there's somebody better to be friends with than them. <laughs> Isn't it? Couldn't that just be easy? You need to be friends with them so bad. Aaron Paul, you need to go out of your way to let us know that you're on Team D'Elia. 
It's I crazy. Know, it's like when I see Dalia's audience all laughing and giving him a standing O, there's girls hugging him at the end. Or why don't you hang you out You just don't give a fuck? At least. Yeah, do it in secret, for God's sakes. <laughs> but it's so wild to me. It's like, so you just, you do you think it's all a lie? Are you pretending that it's just bullshit or... You don't want to look into I think it. That if you're gonna hang out with a guy, you should come out with a personal defense of him. Yes, yeah, channel. that's what you need. You yeah, you need a personal go, defense. I stand for Crystalia, and here's why. Yeah, you can't just simply be friends with him and not suffer the consequence. Okay, let's get to that time code that we're talking about here with Brian. Oh, uh, you can go to six fifty first. Six fifty. <laughs> six minutes? Yeah. Six fifty. Cool. But all in all, this podcast was pretty boring because they would not stop riffing. They were just riffing. It was only riffing. Two guys, and they get so, oh, it's so gay. Sorry about all the gay bashing stuff I've been saying on this show, (laughs) but, uh, you know. For you, head on over, give a subscription, click the bell if you're into it, and help support our new venture with Rick and Esther. Have a time. Don't listen to that. Here we go. Now I'm feeling good. Now we're ready. We're in. Brian. Hey, man, how you doing, bud? I'm a man. It's good to be here. We couldn't, when he said that, we couldn't fucking believe it. Because every time we see him, we go, he's a man, man. He's a man. Oh, is the man dragon. I mean, that's how he fucking talks. We can't believe it. And he's always saying shit about being a man. And it's so cringe. We make fun of it every time. It's not. I don't think he's, like, even aware that that's what's coming out of his mouth every time. He doesn't mean for that to be the first thing he says about himself. But he just gets nervous and says this. That's why it's so funny. This isn't, like, his official tagline of himself. <laughs> Maybe it is now. Uh, he's, if he pr- starts pretending, that's like when Michael Ray Bauer called himself Michael Ray Haybauer once by accident. And I made fun of it. And now he goes, hey, everybody, it's me, Michael Ray Haybauer. It's like, no, you fucked up your own name once. I made fun of it a lot. And now you, oh, yeah, that's how you've always done it, huh? (laughs) Yeah, right. So it could be like that. If you ever see him start leaning into it, it's because I made fun of it. Watch this. Now I'm feeling good. Now we're ready. We're in. Brian. Hey, man, how you doing, bud? I'm a man. (laughs) It's good to be here. Yeah. I just good. You know, I good. asked you on here years and years ago. I'm glad you could finally make it. I didn't know you had a podcast years and I'm years ago. Man. I think this is a new podcast. Yeah, let me put up the... Uh, and Instagram. you're not a fucking man. We just saw the pics. You a bitch. <laughs> you can say, I'm an old man. <laughs> you can't say, I'm a man. I just saw your very girly little faggoty body. That's a fresh picture from the beach. First picture at the beach, by the way, you, did, you had a a tan line from your head to your body. Your body's pale white. Your head's red. So what's going on? And those shorts didn't even look like you should be wearing those on the beach. There was no trunk-like material to be seen. It was very fabric-y. Very stupid. So you're not a man. I'm so sick of this man. He's going to confront him you can on go this. to 115.20. Finally, 115.20. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's at the exact same part as the clip that they used for their intro. So I guess wow, this is everybody's favorite part of the show. Amazing. Okay, so yes, it's going to be just like the intro, 115.20. And you heard Brian at the beginning of the show say, I'm a man. Look at this little guy here. Look at this lunch lady. Oof, when he does his hair and curls like this, that makes me extra <laughs> mad at him. <laughs> Ricky, you look like such a little baby. He sits on the floor while his grandma pets his head. I'm not kidding. This happened recently. He's a little fucking uh, family's boy. The family passes him around like he's a six-year-old nephew who just won like a big basketball trophy. They pass him around like that. They call him Little Ricky. They're all petting him and cuddling with him. He is phenomenal. It makes me sick. He's a real family faggot. He's into his fucking family. Okay, watch this. If she is. So everything you have to say is really just about how brave Caitlyn Jenner is. Yes. Now, would you be okay if Caitlyn Jenner competed in the Olympics for women? Yes, because she's now almost 70. 
But what if she competed in the uh, some type of competitive Olympic type thing? For so it was interesting. He brought up Caitlyn Jenner to rag on. And Glassman picked up on this. He goes, oh, it's one of these guys. I honestly think that they're just bidding out. And by this point in the show, they just were throwing out. You know how Glassman gets in that mood where he's just like throwing out random things? I, don't in know, the I think Glassman is, like is trying to very subtly make some sort of point about the trans stuff to Callan because he knows that Callan's been taken by the trans mind bug. It could be. And I think he's messing with him here a little bit. It doesn't really matter. We're more here for what he's about to say next. Listen to this. Uh, some type of competitive Olympic type thing for older people. I would be against it. Because she used to be an Olympic athlete. Who was a man. See, I don't yeah. even think Caitlyn Jenner was ever a man. And, and I know we are different. She's a biological man. That's what you think. Just, well, no. You don't know. You I don't know. know what it's like. I do because I'm a man. What do you mean? You know, however, I mean, times you forced me about how deep your voice is and how much of a man you are. That's when I'm on the oh. street. It makes me wonder why are you so needing to let me know and let us know how much of a man you are? Because this scared Callan. So, yeah, Rick does his real sneaky stuff where you don't know if you're doing a bit with him. You don't know if he's getting serious for a moment. You don't know if it's a mix. So, basically, as the guy, who Ricky's doing this to, you have to go along as if it's a bit, you know? Because you can't start. No, you can't risk it all. So you kind of got to play along with it. But, I mean, Ricky isn't saying this for nothing. Let's see that again. At times you forced me about how deep your voice is and how much of a man you are. That's when I'm on the street. It makes me wonder, why are you so needing to let me know and let us know how much of a man you are? Because I'm afraid... <sighs> Gold, gold, Put me on the spot right gold, now. Gold, 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 I guess I'm a little insecure. He's a little insecure. Yeah. I want to know. I want to know that I'm a hero and not a coward. Ooh. Real question. You yeah. have insecurities, right? And I don't yes. like that he could just throw it back on. It's the old, never-ending tale, oldest time man stuff. I want to know that I'm the hero, not the pawn. <laughs> no, no, no. This is more specific to you. Don't pin this on history. Okay, yes, there's been a lot of faggots like you in history. Uh, but it's not history. This is you. I want to know that I'm a hero and not a coward. Real question. You yeah. have insecurities, right? Yes. Right. Um, <laughs> you do? Are there some insecurities that you're shameful of and some you're more accepting of and could speak publicly on? Not anymore. I've never been shameful oh. of my insecurities. There's never been a time it's that you were... what I put on stage. There's never been an insecurity that you were ashamed of. That you may not be anymore. I think I'm very open about my insecurities. What about your bone structure? I've always talked about my bone structure. I've never been like... What about your cauliflower ears? I don't have them, but I have a little cauliflower on this ear. I'm proud of that. You gave that to yourself, you sick fuck. He was in the mirror punching his fucking ear so that we'd think he's boxer. You thought I would think you're fighter because your ear? I didn't even know he did that. I didn't either. He says he has a little... You don't get that just from two weeks of sparring around with your buds throughout your whole life. He sat himself and punched himself in that ear. So he'd come home from sparring and he'd go... He would do this because he wanted to have the Brendan Schaub ear and people go, oh, he might look like a tiny little pipsqueak, but this guy, I could tell he's been in a lot of fights. He must know his stuff. I can't believe that. I didn't know that was true. Cauliflower ears. I don't have them, but I have a little cauliflower on this ear. I'm proud of that. When people say, did you wrestle? I love saying yes. When I used to box, I would say, I'd like to bring it up in topics of conversation. And I like like it's sort of dropping the fact that I get in the ring. I don't just hit mitts. I challenge you to a full on boxing match, bitch. Sorry. Better accept, otherwise you're pussy. All right, was there any more from this app? Nah. Okay, it was let's boring. take a break. Throw on the AC. Let's get some agua up in here. And then we'll be right back with much more, okay? That was barely the fucking intro. Yo. Sit tight. Don't go anywhere. And we'll be right back. Hang tight. <laughs> 